Hi guys, now we are going to learn about parallel resonance. Okay, whatever may be the resonance it is, whether it is series resonance or parallel resonance will occur whenever capacitive reactance is equal to inductive reactance. That is whenever Xc is equal to Xc, we can say that circuit is under resonance. Whether it is parallel or series depends on the circuit connection. Okay, so the frequency at which resonance occurs, the frequency at which resonance occurs is called is called resonant frequency. So here let us consider this parallel combination okay so this circuit is having xc capacitive reactance xl inductive reactance with internal resistances r and r the internal resistances are equal uh, here we are considering the internal resistance of this xc as rc and xl as r okay so here what happens is whenever xl is equal to xc here xc is equal to xl xl what happens the two branch currents are equal see the current uh, will flow uh, through the circuit like this if you consider this is the voltage source and the current will flow through the circuit like this okay so if you consider uh, the current is dividing at this point shown IC because it is the current flowing through the capacitive reactance IL let us consider inductive reactance okay so what happens whenever XL is equal to XC the currents what are those currents IC and IL are equal in magnitude equal in magnitude. Why they are equal in magnitude? See why they are equal in magnitude? The resistances, internal resistances are equal and whenever XL is equal to XC, we can say that circuit is under resonance. Okay. The currents are equal in magnitude. Okay. One is inductive parameter and another one is capacitive parameter. Then what happens? What happens? There exists an 180 degrees phase opposition. 180 degrees phase opposition. Then the two currents will, whenever they are 180 degrees phase opposition to each other, means this is, the thing is like this, 180 degrees phase opposition. If you consider this is IC, capacitive current, then it will be IL. They are 180 degrees in phase displacement with, it, with each other. Okay. What happens is the total current will be 0. Total current will be 0. So now we will find at what frequency the resonance occurs in this uh, parallel circuit. Okay. So let us consider the admittance parameter. So what is admittance parameter? Admittance parameter is y. y is equal to conductance plus imaginary parameter is susceptance. y is equal to g plus jb. y is equal to g plus jb. Where what is y? y is admittance, g is conductance and b is susceptance. So for this circuit, we are taking the uh, admittance equation y is equal to, okay, uh, what is uh, this one? 1 by RL plus XL. What is XL? XL is equal to omega L. XL is equal to omega L. So that, that will be 1 by 
R L plus J omega L plus one by R C R C minus J by omega C R C minus J by omega C. What is X C? X L is omega L. X C is equal to one by omega C. The thing will be like this. Now what I am going to do is I am going to multiply and divide with the R L minus J omega L. Then it will be R L minus J omega L by a my a plus b into a minus b that will be a square minus b square and we can write that one as R L square R L square what is j uh, square j square is equal to j square is equal to minus one what is the actual formula a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square this will be j square is minus one minus into minus will get s that is r l square plus omega square l square okay so now here what we are going to do is we are going to multiply numerator and denominator with r c plus j by omega c then we will get r c s j by omega c by this is a minus b and this one is a plus b a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square again a square is minus 1 then this thing will be like this what is this one rc square plus 1 by omega square c square omega square c square now what we are going to do is we are going to write the real and imaginary parameters separately so in this case the real one is rl by rl by rl square plus omega square l square here in this case it is rc by rc square plus 1 by omega say omega square c square these are the real terms and minus j omega l by R L square plus omega square L square plus J by omega C whole by R C square plus one by omega square C square is the imaginary term. What we are doing is simply we are separating the real and imaginary terms like this. It is R L by R L square plus omega square L square plus R C by R C square plus one by omega square C square one by omega square C square. This is the real term, and now the imaginary term is J into J into one by taking J as common J into one by omega C whole by R C square plus 1 by omega squares omega square c square minus omega l by r l square plus omega e square l square okay so this is the real term and this one is the imaginary term generally the resonance the susceptance part becomes zero the susceptance in the sense b b in the sense This part will becomes zero. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are equating the susceptance to zero. Then that will be one by omega c whole by whole by r c square plus one by omega square c square minus Omega L by R L square plus Omega square L square and equating it to zero. Why we are equating it to zero? At resonance, the acceptance part becomes zero. Okay, what is Omega? 
omega is the frequency. Omega is the frequency. Here we are considering the resonant condition. That is the reason why I am taking 1 by omega r. Omega r is the resonant frequency. 1 by omega r c whole by r c square plus 1 by omega square c square is equal to omega r into L whole by rl square plus omega square l square omega square l square now what we are going to do is we are going to cross multiply uh, here that is 1 by omega rc 1 by omega rc into rl square plus omega square l square into omega r into l is rc square plus 1 by omega square c square. Here simply we are cross multiplying like this. Okay. So now what we are going to do is again uh, we will shift this l to this side and this omega r to this side. Then what we will get? We will get 1 by LC, 1 by LC into RL square plus omega square L square, 1 by LC into RL square plus omega L square is omega, this is omega R, omega R square L square and here omega R square into omega r square into this l is shifted to here and this omega r is shifted to here that will be rc square plus 1 by omega square c square okay For further simplification see what we will get is we will get 1 by lc into rl square 1 by LC into RL square. Here what we will do is uh, we will uh, move this omega R square L square to right hand side. Okay. And we will bring uh, this parameter that is 1 by omega R square C square to this side. Then we will get 1 by LC into RL square minus L by C is equal to omega R square, omega R square into R C square minus L by C. Okay. So, here, um, now from this we can write the resonant frequency omega R is equal to 1 by root over L C, 1 by root over L C into root of rl square minus l by c by rc square minus l by c okay uh, at a resonance what happens is the inductive reactance rl is equal to rc at resonance rl is equal to rc then omega r will be 1 by root over lc Okay, whenever these two are equal, these two will get cancelled and uh, the remaining thing is 1 by root over LC. What is omega R? What is omega? Omega R is equal to 2 pi into FR it is equal to 1 by root over LC. Okay, from this we can write FR is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root over LC. 1 by 2 pi into root over LC. Okay, so this is the equation, this is the uh, resonant frequency a circuit which is connected in parallel or simply we can say this is the parallel, uh, this is the resonant frequency, this is the resonant frequency, okay, so this is about parallel resonance, okay, thank you.